Hi, we are Kyle and Missy, and this is a little glimpse of our life on and off our beautiful boat, Makushla. After spending two seasons on the Great Lakes, refitting and getting to know our new home, we sailed her down to the Caribbean. An amazing, brutal, beautiful, grueling journey that has brought us to where we are today. If you see us out and about, come say hi. We love meeting new peeps and sharing stories. And as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, and supporting. It didn't take us long after arriving in Stacia to realize that the anchorage was going to be brutally rolly and life was best spent as much as possible on land. With old military forts, rich history, and breathtaking views from the top of a volcano, it wasn't hard to find ways to entertain ourselves for a bit away from old Makushla. These were the cannons fired. It's the first country to recognize the U.S. as a sovereign state. With my propensity for seasickness and a rolly anchorage that seemed like it was never going to stop our house from rocking and rolling, we checked out and took off for the neighboring St. Kitts and Nevis. There's Stacia. That's where we just came from. And we're about to pull into the port of St. Kitts and Nevis. There's an insanely huge swell coming. I'll have to get my phone out when I have service. How many meters? Uh, like three, three to four meters or something. Three to four meters, 12 second interval. So we're trying to hide from it. Well, hide him. He probably wants to surf it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Clearing customs in St. Kitts and Nevis. Off to find immigration. I think it might be in the casino. Oh, maybe. Stop three. Got changed for the casino. Paid there. there. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> nope. Oh man. Back to immigration. <laughs> oh, we're in. <laughs> Done, free to roam. For 24 hours. For 24 hours. <laughs> the problem is like, you just kind of like, just kind of hopping around. It's like, yeah. so much work just to get on here. You have to tell them when you're coming and going. So we've got, what we, well, we said four days. Four days between St. Kitts and Nevis. Yeah. After spending the morning running around the cruise ship port, we were finally all checked in and clear to visit the island. 
We picked up anchor and headed south to White House Bay, just outside of Christopher Harbor, a super exclusive, fancy new elite community being built on the southern tip of the island. It worked!